So, let me tell you a story. The story of life in a small town in the countryside of Japan. How I got here and why I stayed is a story for another time. We'll eventually get to that. Well, I gotta be honest, life here isn't always exactly exciting. Unlike the other big cities, things can get pretty slow here. But that might change today. Hey mom, where are we going? Where are we going? Is that where you can go on this one? Can. Smile. No, I'll take it tonight. See, I have this adventure book that I started years ago, and I promised to fill it with all the adventures that life throws at me. I even got a few people to join in on it, and I think there's room for more. And that's where you come in, because, well, an adventure only becomes a story when it's told to others. Okay, 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 I'll get to the point. I know what you're thinking. This isn't exactly your idea of Japanese fine dining. But hear me out, because I'm telling you, I feel like the affordable stuff doesn't get the credit it deserves. Looks like I got lunch. This and this. What is this? Salty red salmon. Salty. Highlight would be this guy. Fried chicken. Friend, I'm telling you, I can make an entire video on just how delicious this piece of chicken is. Hey. So yeah, we got to the place. Create Sugidani. And even though the weather was starting to look off, everything looked like it was going according to plan. We took a look at the cabins, we looked around the place, we found the check-in counter. And man, I gotta tell you, everything was just going perfect. Yeah. So the worst thing that could have happened on a camping trip just happened. And while I was there, sulking and wondering why my luck just stinks, the kids kind of taught me something. That sometimes when it rains, you just gotta dance. So apparently we can't get into the cottages till 3, so we decided to come uh, here, past time. It's like 30 minutes away. While I don't think we're actually going to go to the amusement park, I guess we're going to just do a little shopping, you know, just past time till 3 before we can actually get back to you know, the cottages. Anyways, yeah, let's see what this place has. This place was pretty cool actually. Here is in Kogan Center in Joyful Park. It had everything named after it. Here is in souvenirs, here is in cakes, here is in yakisoba, here is in milk. It even had here is in beer. And while it was amazing just walking around and seeing everything, what really stood out to me was the giant salamander just sitting around out front. It was huge, guys. I won't lie, it made me rethink ever swimming in Japan ever again. But I liked him. I call them Bob. So, we got back to the cottage. After settling in, there was one thing left to do, really. That's right. There are a few things that I personally love about this place, but nothing comes remotely close to just having a good barbecue. 
you ever do find yourself in the country area of Japan, definitely put that on your list. Now, I had to admit that the cottage was actually cozier than I thought it would be. It was this two floor cottage that could fit around 7 to 10 people comfortably, it was clean, comfy and affordable. I am a but my favorite part came next. I don't know if you still believe in magic. And I know that we're all taught to outgrow it at some point. But I'm telling you. It's still out there. Sometimes you just gotta make it yourself. Walking around this place at night, I couldn't help but think just how much we miss out on all the good things in life because we're too busy trying to survive. And there's this beauty about nightfall. Being there, surrounded by nature, the people I cared about most, nothing really mattered at that moment. No work, no pressure, nothing. It was like magic. Emma, good morning. Did you sleep well? <laughs> so I just woke up and it's freezing and wet. But good news is they're making breakfast, which is pretty good. So I figured I'd take a good five minutes to just run away for a bit before I get coffee. So you've got all the cottages up there. We're somewhere behind that house. Here we've got like a communal grilling area. We didn't actually use this, we grilled in our spot, if you guys remember, but I think next time, now we're probably not gonna use that. We ended up using it. Let's go annoy my daughter. About to leave. Already packing. Let me show you guys what a simple breakfast looks like here. she's so different. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions. Get away. We're not the issue. I'm I wonder if other countries have not though, or is it only Japan? I'm done living life with the lights out, die with my own doubts. Be free with me. Be free. Be free with me. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, So it looks like we're actually going fishing, which is good news. And the sun just came out. So I don't really know how this works. Uh, I was told that when we catch fish, we can eat it, but we just had breakfast, so I don't know what we're gonna do with the fish we catch. Let's figure that out later. Now, the way this worked was that we had to rent the rods and that every person was allowed to catch a limited number of fish, which makes sense. Now, I don't think that it's allowed all the time though. We couldn't come here the day before because it rained and I'm pretty sure there are also certain times that you're not allowed to fish throughout the day. So now that we're done catching the fish, there's only one thing left to do. Ladies and gentlemen, my favorite part of the day, and the reason I'll never have a six pack, or fit into the shirts I bought only a year ago. Man, I just realized that all we ever really do is grill and eat. I'm 
I'm not complaining. Okay guys, let's take a little break. I think it's time I told you why I make these videos. I told you in the beginning that I wanted to make a story. The greatest adventure ever told. But it isn't just for her or for you. Because one day she'll grow up and make her own adventure. But I'll have these. See guys, this. This right here. This is a level of comfort I dream of reaching one day. Look at that. Not a care in the world. Ah. So, it looks like we're actually going to be going to the amusement park after all. Ah. Ah. Well, we're pretty much done with lunch and the day's still early, so we figured why not just uh, spend a few hours there. It might be fun for the kids and it might actually be a good place to take some videos. We didn't go to the amusement park. I've been lying here for too long. We found a playground instead. Somewhere in the woods. I wanna get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. So <laughs> turns out I was wrong. You're not heading to the amusement park. You're going to a playground that's somewhere around here. It's actually pretty fun. But it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead. Serendipity. The act of finding something good without even looking for it. My entire journey through life has been just that. And isn't everyone's? Which tells me that there is no planning perfect moments. You just have to pay attention. So. While the family are all there playing the playground, I figured I'll take uh, another five minutes to just catch my thoughts. So this trip has been <laughs> quite something. It's actually the most I've had in a while. Now, not everything turned out to be as planned. It wasn't as sunny as we thought it was going to be. It rained nonstop. We couldn't go fishing on the first day, but I think that's uh, it's a small metaphor for life. Things might not always go the way you want it to go, but eventually everything works out for the best you just got to give it time and be open to chances so that was it buddy our first camping trip something to put in the adventure book and there's still a lot of blank pages in here that i do plan on filling up eventually i'll definitely try to make more of these probably not as long as this video but I hope you get to join me for the next one as well. There's just so much to do in this small town. And I want to take you along for the ride. means a lot. I'll be seeing you next time.